Before this video starts, I would just like to add that I have an I now have a Minecraft YouTube channel. Uh, please just you know subscribe, make it more popular, and you might even be able to play some Minecraft games with me. It's called Doctor Black Blood, and it sounds very edgy because it simply is. Hello, YouTube Vampire Connor here, and I'm back with another video on how you could add bumps to your Roblox textures. So yeah, I have PBR. The normal PBR textures here. And here I have the ones with bump. As you can see when you like view them from down here. You can obviously this one looks much better than this one. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this. So first thing you want your textures. And where to get your textures? None other than textures.com. So these are the textures I used. I'll probably have a link to them in the description. So what you're going to download is you're going to... Download, you know, the Al whatever that word is, I'm not going to bother to say it. Albedo, yeah, that's, I guess that is. So then, so that, you also, you're going to download the height this time. And then you're going to get normal and roughness. And if your one has metallic, you're going to get metallic. So what do you do then? So let's close out of these and go on to Blender. As you can see, my Mario in a wheelchair. So, why are we here? So, we're going to delete the default cube. I'm going to um, I have to turn on, I can't remember, statistics. I'm using a different, I'm using Blender 1.2, no, 2.9, something like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add a plane. So, with this plane, we're going to go into edit mode, mode with tab. And then we go to press W, or it could be different for you, but I have it on W, and click subdivide. And you go keep on doing that, and keep and look at the triangles at the right. You're going to wait until it's around about 10,000. Although we went past 10,000 by a lot, there's an easy fix for that, and that is just going to add modifier and decimate. And you go decimate until it's at. 10,000 because Roblox can only take models that have 10,000 triangles and you go and press ctrl a to uh, to apply it so now that we have at 10,000 you're going to go here with the with like the checkerboard pattern and we go press new and then we go here and open so then we go to our textures that we downloaded and we go to take the height texture so now that you have that you're going to go to your modifiers, add a displace, and then you're going to click on this, and then you're going to click on texture. Now, as you can see, it's a bit weird, but you could change that with your strength. So I'm going to set mine to 200, looks good. And you know, if you want, you could shade smooth, and then you're going to go and file export as FBX. So I already have that done. So let's let's just go to our Roblox Studio. So I have all my textures already, but what you're going to do now do is you're going to add a mesh part. With that mesh part, you're going to go to your mesh ID, and you know you name your mesh ID uh, anything you want, and then you know you just press yes, yes, and then. Wait for it to appear. So it's all the way down here. Let's bring that all the way back up. So as you could see, it has the exact same as this rock, you know, look. And then you're going to put all the textures that you downloaded into, you know, your surface appearance where you put it into color map, normal, and roughness map. So it's actually that simple, and you get like realistic, I guess, materials. The only problem is is that you have to have a decent computer because if you are making a big game with this, it may get laggy, but it will be extremely realistic. You know, with having bumps on like I guess your rocks and not just you know your usual PR textures. I can't even see that nicely. So yeah. That's how you could get make you know add bumps. Again, like you can use the textures at textures.com. 
you get to, you get 15 points and you know every day you know they add 15 points so like if you have f used one point by the next day you would have 15 again so yeah textures.com you know you get free, your free textures sometimes it will also be called a displacement map other than height map but it's height map and displacement map you do the same thing with the modifiers and you know that's basically it that is you know very quick very simple nothing too complex well in my opinion maybe it's maybe for other people since they haven't had too much experience but yeah no not just well yeah whatever that's the video it's i hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe